My name is Dr. Bill Johnson, and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Exploring Our Schools. Today we are going to focus on really one of the highlights of the spring season at Southside High School, and it is our musical. I have three very special guests with me today, the director and producer, Pam Seidemann. Thank you very much for joining me today, Pam. Thank you. Uh, almost a regular. Every year we do this. <laughs> it's really right. And two of the principals in the play, we'll get to them in just a moment, Jamie Hatta, all right, and Melissa Aliota. Thank you very much for joining us. But why don't we start with the, the play itself? Uh, what is the play this year? It's a little bit different. And why? OK, so the play this year is The Secret Garden, um, which was on Broadway in the 1991 season, I believe. Um, and it was based on a beloved children's classic. Uh, the story takes place in 1906 in both um, India during the British Raj and also uh, in Yorkshire, England. And it's really the story of a young girl's journey um, to, uh, from loss and devastation to, to renewed hope and love. Um, the reason for it, I, I was, to be entirely honest, because um, is that I base the choices both on something that has great material, but also that serves who we have in the building. Right. And we knew this year that we had a tremendous group of singers, um, just with glorious voices. So we wanted to really feature that. Uh, so that when we start looking for material, that was our focus, looking for um, shows with beautiful scores that would really challenge our students. That was one. Um, but then as I, and I read this in my, in my director's note, that um, I was listening to a radio show which was talking about the devastation in California and the fires in a place called Paradise, California, which is, I think, a good metaphor. Um, and the mayor was talking about how they're going to rebuild after this devastation. So the play really, for me, became um, appropriate, even more appropriate, um, about the meaning about com how, we, how a community comes back after a loss. Um, there's, loss of loved ones in the in the play and the characters are fighting their way back both of these play characters who've lost and need to find a way back um, and it's a community of spirits and um, the community of both the living and the dead spirits that guide them back to finding hope as they rebuild this garden which is a metaphor there that is why well, that's a <laughs> lot of explanation there you know and I, 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 I know many times I, I wonder sometimes and until I sit in the audience and then I realize why we chose what we chose. So I'm going to use the segue that you provided, which is the characters. Tell me a little bit about the two characters. Um, you are connected in the play. Yes. 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 Uh, so I play a 40-year-old man um, of the name Archibald Craven, um, and I'm Mary Lennox's um, uncle. Uh, I live in a giant manor that I inherited, um, like bloodline from my father. and. Uh, Mary comes to live with me after her family um, passes away uh, due to the cholera in India. Um, and so like the story is basically about like how, without giving too much away, um, <laughs> like how I bond with Mary with everything that's been going on in my life and all like the death and like everything that's um, been like haunting me and like putting like a burden on my back. Um, and like I learned to love Mary and like accept Mary for who she is. And, and, think, yeah. and Mary? <laughs> uh, Mary's a 10-year-old girl, and she is um, an only child. And since we're living during the British Raj in India, uh, she's kind of spoiled and used to like getting her way. So when her family passes, it's like culture shock, because she has to go to, all the way to Yorkshire, which um, kind of hints at all the accents that we're going to have, because <laughs> no one's from America uh, mm -hmm. this year. So. She is kind of really flustered because all the characters are talking so fast with the new accents, and um, she's used to bossing people around. So it's kind of funny because I think Mary tries to boss people around, but that's kind of not how that works there. <laughs> <laughs> so um, she meets like a bunch of new people, and I think everyone in the house kind of um, rescues both of us in a way because of our loss, and we're kind of like very dynamic characters and we kind of regrow like a garden. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so interesting. When you were using, you were saying I and me, yeah. when you were talking about your character. Yeah. Have you become the character? Um, well, not physically, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you, as I said yeah. earlier, I'll let yeah, you yeah, through yeah. my yeah. hands. Right, OK. <laughs> um, no, yeah. Um, I'd say, uh, for me at least, I have 
um, I know like my strengths and weaknesses as an actor, and I know that like during like the beginning stages of like rehearsal and stuff, I have trouble like finding my character and like like taking on that role. But then like later, like especially like normally during Tech Week, which is this week, um, when we're in the school for like seven hour rehearsals, leaving at ten o'clock at night, um, it's like much easier and uh, like it's a much better way to find your character. And so I think like with the process of lights and like in, like orchestrating the pit like into the show. Um, it's like that whole process like helps you find your character and like the meaning behind everything that you're like putting forward to the audience. Mm -hmm. How about Mary? I agree. Um, <laughs> I often say I, me too. Um, I think I started with the book actually because I didn't want to watch the movie or anything because I didn't want to like be influenced by that interpretation of it because I think like what's really important is that we have a bit of ourselves and the character like as well. And um, I think it's just like kind of grown into us and we have our own like personality like embedded into our character. Do you relate to the story? I know what Pam was saying before about the, the, the appropriateness of the story mm -hmm. and how much it can be connected to things that are happening in the world mm -hmm. around us today. Do you feel the same way about the story itself? Aside from the mm -hmm. characters. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'd right say, okay. yeah. um, I'd say that um, if you're like skeptical about seeing the show or some um, anything, um, it's more relevant than ever in our community, especially. Uh, its message and everything that it stands for um, is one that like le many people, including myself, needed to um, like need to see and like need to hear within our community. Um, so I think that that's necessary for um, like the message behind the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I that? think it kind of goes into, like, with the garden metaphor, um, it's one of Dickens' lines, who's played by Drew Beatty. Um, <laughs> he talks about how, like, the most neglected roses can thrive if the soil is rich enough. So I guess that's kind of saying, like, with a little nudge and a little help, like, we can all come together and thrive and grow to get together. Right. But you both mm -hmm. have to change, don't you, during the play? Yes, yeah. which is a little hard. I how you start it. is not how you end. No. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, For both of us, yeah. really. I'd say that we start um, like with our own problems, like our own loss, and um, there's not much like direct correlation between the two characters. As my like relationship to her is like through my wife, who's passed. Um, so there's no bloodline there, uh, which is part of the reason that I'm so like hesitant to take her in. Um, and like throughout the entire um, show, we find each other um, like and help each other through um, like the problems with our own losses, which is kind of a good think, metaphor for what's happening. I think part of the challenge for me is that acting is usually like reacting to other people and like focusing more on the other person rather than yourself. And for us, especially in the beginning, we're very like focused on ourself and our own problems and like what's supposed to be going on in our lives and like not really paying attention to other people. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that was like a challenge for me in the beginning and then like through the end it, we kind of like ease into everyone and like yeah. throughout the show I'm trying to like break into him and saying like oh are you going to be my father now and he kind yeah. of like pushes me away so. It's so interesting you said that because in my director's note <clears throat> one of the things that I wrote is that and I don't even think I shared my director's note with you guys no. but no. it was that one way to to resolve your own um, loss and sadness is to focus on the other and how can I make the other better and it's about the community you know, it's about that which brings us all together and helps us all is when we start thinking, what can I do for others? Mm -hmm. That's exactly, I think, what the message of the piece yeah. is. Yes. And that's been the message for the last few months exactly. in this community. Yes. You know exactly. that. So, I mean, this has been a, a struggle. That's yes. right. But it's really well illustrated by the theme yeah. that walked its way through this play. Mm -hmm. yes. It's remarkable. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, that was, of course, no, there was yeah, no there was way to no, know that we would need that show. didn't know in advance, mm -hmm. of course, right. No. right. So, you know, the other thing that always strikes me is that there is a sense of team. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know? Within the you, cast. Yes. Yeah. And also, like, the crew and the pit, everyone's, like, yes. very together. And um, for me, uh, like, almost every show I've been in, like, there's always, like, social groups and, like, cliques, like, within the cast and within the pit. And, like, sometimes, like, the pit and cast don't mesh. But, like, during Tech Week, like, everything starts Everyone's coming together. Here, Everyone yeah. starts to, like, bind together. And it's one of, like, the coolest parts of, like, orchestrating a show and, like, doing theater is that, 
like everybody comes together. Every single person has a, ra a job and a role and like something that they have to do for the show to go on. And if they weren't there, then like we we need them there. So like for like what 100 kids to come together and do that all together just for like the sake of a show is really special. I'd say. Is that what we have close to 100 kids? Oh yeah, if you if you add up if all of the, the crew. Oh, all of, yes, I the understand. Crew and right. People doing costumes and makeup and the and the sound mm -hmm. and the lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. the play prod. Yeah. Yeah, but more than that, I mean, the two characters, the two leads, mm -hmm. very often become very connected yeah. in ways. <laughs> in other words, not necessarily in real life, but no, on yeah. the stage, you really have to get a sense of who that other person is. Do you feel that on the stage when you're there? Yeah, well, I, I definitely think that you bond as characters with your, like, role, like your co-lead or, like, your co-role. Mm -hmm. For this show particularly, it's kind of, um, like, unique, uh, I bond with my passed away, de deceased wife, um, yeah. like more than anybody else, and mm -hmm. she's not even alive. Right. Um, and I'd say that I, like as like the two leads, um, we bond together in a sense that we're like apart. Like the way we bond yeah. is like we're never like really together until like almost the end of them. Like I can never even talk to her like as yeah. my <laughs> niece like regularly until the mm -hmm. end of the show. Um, so I'd say we bond um, by learning what we've done for each other through other people, mm -hmm. which is very unique. Um, it is. Yeah. Yes. And especially because most of our scenes, it's usually one of us wanting something yeah. from the other, but they're not going to give it to us. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of the times we have like, these little awkward scenes yeah. and like these little like awkward, oh, I got to look away. And then we'll, we're like closest friends too, so mm -hmm. we'll just laugh about it right after. Yeah. Oh, so this is not the first time you've been together on the stage. No. We haven't no. had many scenes together, though, like no. in other shows. Yeah, I, I'd say none. <laughs> yeah, we haven't yeah. had any scenes together in other shows, but we've been in all of the shows yeah. together. Yeah, every musical. So, so much of this is voice. Yes. Yeah. You practice a lot? Yes. Um, <laughs> if you don't, much. Dr. Freiling will <laughs> come for okay. you. Okay. No. no, no. <laughs> we do, but we know, yes. right? Relentless? Yes. No, mm -hmm. she's great. Um, right. She's able, like, not to boost her ego too much, but she's able to take so many kids and boost the level at which they operate at for just singing alone, um, which is, like, not, like, 70% of the show alone, like, itself. Um, it, it's really phenomenal, like, the way that everybody can just, like, come together and sing. It's really cool. Yeah, and I took voice privately, and both of us are actually going into the arts for college, too, so. Are you really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to... Finish with that. <laughs> You're going to pursue? Yes, I'm pursuing musical theater. Where are you going? Have you I decided? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Between a couple schools. Okay. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm pursuing vocal performance, so music and singing. Um, I don't know where I'm going. This one. They both have good choices. I'll say that. They both have good choices. It usually means that they have more than one choice, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to decide right away. That's fine. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? So yeah. not just the preparation in class, but also... The life that you lead outside. Yeah, I definitely say that um, doing theater and music and like having all these teachers expose me to new things every year um, is the sole reason I'm pursuing music in college. Um, it's like impacted my life in more ways than like imaginable. Really just you know, we come to appreciate certainly I do, even from a distance, the wholeness of the experience of going through mm -hmm. Southside, and that's why we want for all of us, all of you, yeah. to have the opportunity to experience things like this. Mm -hmm. And it's life-changing. Yeah. I mean, literally, it, it can be life-changing. So, yes. mm -hmm. Anyway, any last words? Well, first of all, we have to, we have to let people know right. April, when and when it where. is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Southside High South School South Auditorium. Yeah. Um, surprise. Uh, it's, 11, <laughs> it's April 11th. 12th and 13th, 13th. Mm -hmm. at 7.30 p.m. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday. Correct. Mm -hmm. Next week, 13th. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One week from today. It's yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it goes very quickly. Yes. Yes, it does. Well, the best of luck. Thank you. I'm you. anxious to see <laughs> it this you. year. Yeah. Thank you. Again, it's going to be a surprise because I didn't mm -hmm. know the story itself. Yes. So right. I thank you very much for joining today, Pam, as always. <laughs> thank you. Great job. Thank you for having us. All right. Us. What do they say? Break a leg? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Not literally, but okay. <laughs> Good God. That's already. all we need, yes. right? <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Thanks again for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And hope to see you at the play. Bye now. <laughs>